How have your strategies for acquisition of knowledge changed from your senior year in college until now, the end of your first year of medical school? Um, I think they've mainly changed by, I try to focus on the material prior to when it's presented to me, that way whenever it's presented I can actually understand what's going on. And like, for example, in lectures, if we have reading, I try to do the actual reading, that way I can pay attention in lecture. And it actually kind of helps me store the knowledge way better than what I did back in college until now. Any other different strategies now that you use that you did um, not use? And I also think I do more active note taking. Before I used to just kind of passively be like, okay, I'm taking a note, I'm highlighting something, but it wasn't actually benefiting my knowledge. So now I actually do more active note taking. I actually come to class and I engage in what's going on in the lecture so I can actually get something out of it. Actually coming to class. Yes, coming to class is the main thing. Gotta come to class. <laughs> Well, in undergrad, I definitely did the whole uh, wait till the last minute and then cram a lot. And then I recommend in med school just knowing your goals and knowing what you're trying to do. Like, if you want to get straight A's, you're going to have to change your strategies. You can go first. I think I've uh, definitely increased the amount of time that I spend preparing for lecture. Um, going through the material once on my own first before being exposed to it in lecture has allowed me to um, see what the professors emphasize as being important. So you read the book before you go to class? Read the book, preview the lectures, have an understanding, even if it's just uh, looking through the headings of the chapter to understand the, the big topics that we're going to cover. Um, for me, I would say I've used a lot more like practice questions and just like different ways of seeing the material, whether it's like go to the lecture, see it there, go over it on your own, look through the book, maybe see if that helps, and then like figuring out a system for you that like works. And like for me, I didn't really change what I did from undergrad. I just applied it more consistently throughout my time instead of all right before a test. The thing that you can do is take the information that's given to you and rework it to make it your own. If you don't uh, manipulate the information yourself and synthesize something new, then you're really not going to save it for long term. Uh, the thing that is important with the medical school is they teach you something and it's not that you can learn it and dump it. You need to be able to bring it back up and apply it in new ways later on. So straight up memorization may get you points for the test, but ultimately you're going to have to relearn that material for subsequent um, portions. How have your strategies for acquisition of knowledge changed over time? <laughs> How have your strategies for acquisition of knowledge changed from your senior year in college until now, the end of your first year of medical school? Um, I would say they've changed and that I'm definitely doing more reading. I didn't read any of my textbooks in college and I definitely read all of the required reading in medical school and that is a huge, I mean the exams that I don't do the required reading, my score definitely reflects that. Um, studying, um, in college it was more I just studied what was on the slides and memorized all that and that was it. And, with med school, it's more I have to decipher what is important on each slide and what's actually important from the text and integrate all that together. And that way, by kind of deciphering what I think is important, I'm able to pare down the information quite a bit from the volume that's given to us. Mm -hmm. And I would add on to that using all of your resources. So don't be afraid to ask for help from professors. Go to tutoring. Um, use the book. Use your slides. So don't confine yourself to one type of resource. And also be adaptable. No matter what you think has worked for you in the past, you will have to change how you study for every class and it's going to be, it's going to be difficult at first to change how you study frequently, but KCU prepares you for it. <laughs>